Look, got some old June bug right here. Yes. Taking selfies with a worm? Yeah, man, that's, that's my job. <laughs> Make him drape one across like a mustache. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, bass push off on Saturday, man. You guys better pepper that like button up. Well, everyone, we got a different episode today. So today, guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Instead of going out to a pond, doing a challenge, or going out on the lake on the boat, whatever it is, we actually have a hurricane blowing in right now and the weather is really bad as you guys can tell it's pretty windy outside we're at bass pro shops today i'm going to be going inside and filming a 25 dollars challenge so i'm going to go in there buy 25 dollars worth of baits pretty much all around baits so i want to kind of you know buy baits that are going to be pretty much really good all around baits so whether it's going to be some crawls and then some might be some you know traps some chatter baits some spinner baits i'm going to get a variety a little bit of everything but only spend 25 dollars and this is going to be a cool little budget fishing challenge so let's go ahead and head inside so we all know when buying fish and tackle it can be really expensive so you guys suggested one thing which is pretty much a budget fishing challenge where I'm gonna go and show you guys pretty much inexpensive baits that you can purchase at local tackle shops like Gas Pro Shops, Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods Academy, Cabela's, that whole deal. So I'm gonna be traveling around. This is a new series onto the channel. We're gonna be looking at some inexpensive baits today and only spending 25 bucks. Let's get it. One bait that I absolutely love is an old DT6, Arapala, Rapala, whatever you guys wanna call it. Um, this is a killer bait right here, especially on the river. I catch some biggins on this, some biggins, some biggins, some little redneck came out of here. I catch some big ones on this bait. This bait is about nine dollars. It's gonna range between eight to ten dollars, and sometimes you don't want to pay that much. Sometimes you don't want to pay that much. <laughs> There's a lot of people in Bass Pro Shops on this Saturday, people. This is a hard one, all right. So smash that like button. A lot of people don't really want to pay that much for a bait. So I have a little. I have a few options for you guys. Let's come over here. The so one bait that they actually sell at Bass Pro Shops that. I pretty much substitute for that, you know, DT6. It's pretty much this little bomber right here. As you guys can tell, this is just the Model A. And that's a solid little crankbait. This is actually only, only going to be $5.99. So then again, you're going to be saving, you know, two to three, you're saving three bucks right there if you go to this. But then again, if you're wanting to save even more money, you can go with this series right here. This is actually the whole Bass Pro Shops brand. They're only $3.99. Obviously, the quality is not going to be as good. They're a lot more inexpensive, but if you guys are seriously trying to save some money, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a lure. Like you don't want to spend $10, you would rather spend three, then this is a good option, especially if you're here at Bass Pro Shops. Also, they usually sell these kits just like this. This is obviously just a little crankbait kit. It's got some square bills in there, and then it's got some medium divers, and then obviously some deep divers. And this is only $15 for five crankbaits. So you can tell these are about three bucks a pop, and you're gonna be saving a lot more money if you wanna go that route. Me personally, I you know I love my DC60, so I'm gonna obviously spend a little bit more money on that, or I'm gonna go with those bandits or those bombers. But if you guys are really looking to save some money, this is where you need to go. So I am gonna go with this little bomber right here, old red crankbait right there. That's some absolute juice. So we're gonna go with this. This is five dollars and ninety-nine cents. First lure in the bucket, maybe. The next little bait I'm gonna be going with is pretty much some little beavers. You yeah. know, you can get these this little tournament series Bass Pro Shop brand, and they're fairly inexpensive, as you guys can tell. Three dollars and eighty cents. Not too much, but I tend to go towards these colors right here. Let me see if it has the juice real quick. Obviously, you got a straight little June bug right there. We're gonna grab this pack. This is three dollars or four dollars. This one's actually four dollars and thirty-nine cents. Since this is the bigger one, um, but I want to go with that one. Drop that one in. Then also, you got this little. Let me show you. As you guys can tell, it's a little green. It's, it's a darker green. It's not like a standard little old watermelon. And it's got some red in there as well. It's a little darker color. That bait's gonna be great as well. One other bait that I really like in clear water is this one right here. As you can tell, it's like a little green pumpkin with some blue in it. That's a really good color. If you're looking at different brands and different companies, it's usually called like Green Pumpkin Blue Swirl. That's a stellar bait, I'm telling you, especially if it's clear water. I would definitely give that one a try, but I'm gonna buy a few packs of these. Obviously, we need some old stick baits. You guys know my cheapest is expensive. Fishing challenge with the Senkos. Gary Yamamoto's are around $9, all right? As you can tell, $8.79. They're about 10 bucks. All right, $10 for a pack of Senkos is a good bit of money. And if you guys go watch that video, you can tell I go in depth 
on pretty much breaking it down like whether this bait's more durable than this one or you know if it's softer saltier whatever it is and if you guys want to check that out be sure to go check out that video but as you can tell eight dollars and 79 cents so we do not want that we're going to be going with the old yum dingers which are three dollars and 49 cents you can actually get these cheaper at walmart if you find some in the clearance bin they're only like a dollar we're going to get a few packs of these got some old june bug right here yes taking selfies with a worm yeah man that's, that's my job <laughs> making great one across like a mustache <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, Bass Pro Shops on Saturday, man. You guys better pepper that like button up. And then we got these old little June Bug Yum Dingers right here. That's my favorite color, as you guys know, in dirty water. Killer bait right there. This is what I was talking about. Green pumpkin, blue swirl. As you guys can tell right there, that's a really good clear water color. If you're looking for one, green pumpkin, blue swirl, I'm telling you. Those are just juicy. If you're looking for more of a variety here at Bass Pro Shops, another good selection is obviously the Bass Pro Shops brand because they're only $5.99, and then again, you get 16 of them in a pack. I mean, that's fairly inexpensive, and they have so many of them. If you guys watched my secret tackle box where I pretty much built an old Senko box for the river, I bought a ton of these because they're pretty inexpensive. You got a lot of them. They're very durable. They're decent, decent little Senkos, and they got so many different colors here. I can tell you that, but we're not going to get any today. We're going to stick with the Yum Dingers. I kind of like, I like the Yum Dingers. You know, they're pretty inexpensive and you know they get the job done. As you guys know, frog fishing can be very, very, very expensive. As you guys can tell, if I was gonna stand, if I was just gonna go buy a frog, it's gonna cost me about $10. Um, this is $10.99. Then they have some more that are even more money, and this is just a little bronze eye popping frog right there. But then again, they have some more selections here at Bass Pro Shops. You know, they got the striking ones that are actually $9. So they're a dollar cheaper. And then they have some of the Booyahs that are actually $7. But then they got some of the old Bass Pro Shops brand that are only 6 to $7 right here. Um, obviously the Bass Pro Shops brand is gonna be a little bit cheaper, but that's the point of this video because it's a budget fishing challenge. So I'm actually gonna go with this one. I've actually used it a few times. The quality is not as good as the Spro. Um, it's not gonna be outstanding like the Spro. But then again, for the price, for half the price, I'd rather buy two of these than a Spro. So we're gonna be going with this just old standard Kermy topwater frog right there so i actually bought some little weights and hooks these are inexpensive ones bass pro shop brand xps series just cheap little ones right here that you guys can buy but instead of just making this a 25 dollars challenge i do want to buy some more baits i'm going to tell you guys why when i get back home but i'm going to buy some stuff in here i'm going to turn off the camera and then i'm going to show you guys what i bought at home with the 25 dollars you know budget fishing stuff so i'm about to go buy some mystery stuff right now and i'll catch you guys at the house Alrighty, it is time to unbox this stuff right here from Bass Pro Shops. So as you guys know, you know, we went there, did a little budget thing. I pretty much picked out lures that are a little bit more inexpensive, showing like the expensive value of some of the lures and then dialing down to how you can choose, you know, if you're wanting to save money, obviously, because we all know fishing is just really, really expensive. So I did pick out some lures to equal about $25 and it's a big variety you know you got some hard baits you got some soft baits you got some hooks you got some weights and i'm going to show you guys that but after when i turn off the camera because it was loud and there's just a lot of people in there i picked up some more tackle that i'm going to show you guys as well and then we're going to be making another video on tuesday about that so you guys got to stay tuned for that one but let me go ahead and show you guys what i got for the 25 dollars so the first bait is this little xps bass pro shops frog right here and i was talking about you know you can go with the spro but it's going to be around 10 to 11 dollars or you can go you know the booyah it's going to be around you know eight dollars but this one was actually only six so this is a way to save money is obviously the bass pro shops brand this is the budget challenge at bass pro shops not like everywhere so obviously their brand is probably going to be the cheapest out of everything if i went to walmart obviously walmart's brand is going to be cheaper but we're going to be doing budget little budget videos like this at all the locations so it makes it a little bit easier on you guys another bait was this little bomber right here i was talking about that little rapala dc6 and how you know it's a pretty expensive crankbait it's around ten dollars but you can actually get this bad boy right here for around i believe six dollars that's saving you know three to four bucks i mean i know that doesn't sound like a crazy amount because this is still a six five to six dollar bait but then again that's saving a lot of money and then if you want to go even cheaper you can go with the bass pro shops brand on the crankbait as well and then i picked up some bass pro shop series ewgs right here super 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 inexpensive i am going to tell you one thing when you're buying hooks the cheaper you go usually they're not going to be as strong um you're going to notice it too because if you hook a tree and stuck on a tree trying to get it off you might end up bending that hook i'm going to warn you guys on that so maybe when buying hooks you don't want to buy probably the cheapest out there but you want to stick to 
you know, a moderate, a moderate hook. Like an expensive hook, in my opinion, is probably the trocars. Like a trocar, I'd obviously use a trocar in like a tournament situation. But those are amazing hooks. And then I have these little um, creature baits right here that would be amazing for, you know, flipping a crawl up on some trees, also punching. And these are just in Junebug, as you guys can tell right there. And this is the tournament series by Bass Pro Shops. Another, you know, more inexpensive than the other brands. Just got some little lead weights. Simple, simple as you can get. And those are by Bass Pro Shops as well. I feel like everything we got is by Bass Pro Shops. The old Yum Dingers right there, those are in June Bug. As you guys know, this, comparing this, I have the cheap versus expensive Sanko Challenge. I actually just dropped my last video. If you guys haven't checked that one out, be sure to go check it out. Comparing that to a Gary Yamamoto, you get these for around two to three dollars a pack. Gary Yamamoto's are gonna range from seven dollars to I've seen them all the way up to pretty much $10, like $9 and something cents, especially with tax. These are going to be way cheaper. And those green bugs are going to be great for dirty water. And then I actually picked up some of the green pumpkin blue swirls, which are going to be amazing in clear water as well. That's that's one of my go-to colors. You will whack some fish on that. So the total for this Senko right here, pack of yum dingers, pack of yum dingers right here, some weights, some EWG hooks, some crawls, a crankbait, and a topwater frog. This is all gonna equal out to around $30. I was gonna do 25, but when I realized I had to buy hooks and weights, it did push it up to 30 bucks, but that is a decent bit of tackle, especially a variety. You know, we got the top water, we got a moving bait, which is a crank bait. I was gonna go with, you know, a spinner bait or a chowder bait. I ended up not getting one. And then I got some old crawls, two packs of Sankos, and a big pack of weights and a decent little pack of hooks. And that equaled out to around $30. But then I went back and I was like, man, I gotta buy something juicy for you guys and I'm gonna have a cool video on Tuesday with this tackle. Let me show you guys real quick. As you guys know, I absolutely love speed crawls. Zoom speed crawls are one of my favorite baits out there. And I decided that I want to make a pretty much a little crawl box right here. This is not gonna be in this video. This is actually going to be on Tuesday. So if you guys wanna see that, be sure to pepper that like button up. This is gonna be, you know, a little tackle box organization video that I think you guys will enjoy. It's gonna be something different. I just got the regular Ultra Vibe Speed Crawls right here. These are uh, Green Pumpkin. These are Green Pumpkin Magic. So it's just Green Pumpkin with a little bit of flake, with a little bit of sparkle to it. Then I got two black and red flake right there and then one pack of doom bug this is for a whole another video which is going to be coming out tuesday so be sure to press that notification bell and also hit that subscribe button so you guys can see the tackle organization video on that because i think that's something that you guys like i haven't done it in a while it's been like fishing challenge after fishing challenge after fishing video every single video so i was like why not switch it up especially when this hurricane's here because it's super windy outside but thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for the support and i'll catch you guys in the next video I got sky like the weatherman, uh I cry cars, get hella bears, uh I got a bar from the motherland, uh I got shooters with hands, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh